David Joker and most of the web comments from using interviews. Today's tip for the day, learn to watch people. One of the problems a lot of writers have is they don't do dialogue very well. It's just straight up. You get two people trying to communicate some very basic ideas, and they botch it. On one hand, you've got the writers that tend to have everything exactly the way they need it. And so they get some really wooden, boring dialogue. You know, if they need it to move the characters along, great. They need it to move the plot along, fine. They need to do an exposition dump, hey, cool, let's throw that in the dialogue. That's not a real dialogue. Flip side, you've got all these people who do all these ridiculously fluff things, you know. They throw in all this sling, they throw in all this machismo. They throw all this just basically fluff in there that doesn't belong. What they end up getting is a conversation that's pretty much useless. You need to find a nice, happy medium. That is, you need to figure out where you can have a little bit of slang, a little bit of fronting, a little bit of having fun. But at the same time, you need to use that dialogue in order to move the plot, move the characters, and, again, act as a great, good old-fashioned exposition dump. Dialogue is great for it if it's used correctly. Unfortunately, the only way to do that is by going out and actually watching people talk. You need to go to sporting events. You need to go to cafes. You need to go to parks. You need to go where pe- lots of people are and actually just sit back and watch people do what they do. You need to listen to them. You need to listen for patois. You need to learn for jargon. You need to learn for slang. You need to watch how they're doing it, what kind of gestures they're using, how they're facing each other. Yeah, I know it's a lot of stuff to get down, but you're going to find that the more you do this, the better your dialogues are going to sound and the better it's just going to work out. You're going to basically hit that really great medium between where you do all this really great stuff through the story needs, but you're also throwing a little bit of extra fluff so it actually sounds real. And you need that. Of course, you also need to learn how to watch people so you don't get arrested, but that's its own thing. For now, just go out and watch people and have a little bit of fun with it. And just learn how to watch people. If you like this tip and you want to hear a little bit more, please check me out at Webcomic Reviews and Interviews, available at any podcast service near you. Thank you and have a great day.